This is Graham Grinner on all channels. Welcome to the Wastes. Evening, Wasteland. This is Grim Grinner on all channels, transmitting out of my post in the bunker. Things have been on an upswing of late, now that I have some friendly faces to keep me company. Mazzy and the have-nots have been wonderful company, and great at quick supply runs when we need them done. The extra bodies have also helped the bunker feel a bit more like home, which is nice. Makes me want to one day work on finding another one that could be transformed into a sort of, I don't know, hub for travelers and wanderers. Some Something similar to how Balisar's nest used to be before they took it mobile over. Like a sort of subterranean animated broom. Anyways, on to the updates from the waste. Word from Ausund about a big swarm of ferals making their way west towards the Badlands region. Hopefully nothing will come of it, and they're just migrating like normal. At any rate, if they keep moving that way, they'll soon be a problem for the vanished. But heads up to any camps, outposts, or communities that might be in that path to set up some fortifications and safeguards in case you spot any ferals roaming around. We've also picked up word on some new raider camps popping up along the coastlines of the Static Lakes recently. No major affiliations, some hopped up on chems and other things they've found. A few reportedly attempting to run as slavers, but most of them have been keeping, well, to themselves, I guess. Well, apart from a few smaller scraps, of course. So, pretty much if you're not a raider or part of a bigger group, maybe steer clear of the coastline. I mean, I would at any rate, especially, oof, especially after my last excursion near there. Speaking of which, those tapes I found seemed to be weirdly melted and destroyed by the time I got them back here. One was barely playable, but that was just something about how to make a latte and it fell apart after a short while. Oh well, it's not like that matters much anymore out here. I'll stick to the drip stuff that I've been able to make with supplies from Roaster. Speaking of, there should be a new crop just about ready out of the roasted road very soon, meaning there's going to be some fresh batches of that delicious blend making their way to camps and outposts in the area. I'm hoping to be able to barter for some, especially if they've got any of the specialty blend Larry was working on when we last spoke. That all brings me to the update of the hour, Wasteland. I recently have been tuning into some old broadcast frequencies, trying to find some old friends out in the dust and the static. Now, while I haven't been having much luck on that front, I did recently come across a broadcast coming from a very unexpected place. Turns out someone inside of the GAT, of all places, has been transmitting on and off with a repeated message, supposedly from the Shawa district. Now, it could very well be a trap, and knowing how some of the elites operate in the walls, it more than likely is. But it's still an interesting transmission since it's coming through on a different channel than the ones where corporate messages usually get picked up. Normally, it would make sense to pick up a broadcast on a few particular frequencies, especially if you're closer to the walls. With how far out this signal is getting, I'm curious almost to try and respond, but not sure if I want to risk giving away my location. But that's neither here nor there if you don't know what's coming through over the airwaves. So here we go. Uh, here's the broadcast that's supposedly coming from behind the walls as I was able to record a loop of it. Hello. Come in. If anyone out there is listening, I'm from inside the gap, behind the walls. I'm in the Shawa district, on the northernmost edge of the walls. And there's something going on, and we've been gradually getting cut off from the other communities within the walls. Smaller neighborhoods that aren't hitting certain production quotas are being taken over by guard teams and taken in for reconditioning, never to be seen again. No one knows what's happening. I tried talking with guards when they come through on their runs, but they know about as little as we do. If 
anything you got this note to Joe to find a way to contact us here. I'll be uh, I'll be transmitting on his channel every couple of hours daily. We just want some information on what's been going on. Have, have a safe day. And that's the loop. I picked up the broadcast again a few hours later, but wasn't able to patch in for a response. Tells me that whoever this is may not even be aware that their signal is getting out of the walls. Either that or, like I said, it's a trap to try and lure someone close to the gat and get picked up by a squad of elites, or worse. As much as my trigger finger is itching to take on some creeps right now, even I'm not that reckless. So for now, until someone can verify if that transmission is a real call for help, my advice to any wastelanders hearing the loop on broadcast frequency 53.319 is that you should avoid getting anywhere close or trying to get a response from them. There could be an actual threat behind the walls, but it could also be a trap. Ah, shit. I'll have to wrap this up on that note, Wasteland. Gotta head on a supply run. This has been Groom Grinner on all channels. See you in the waste. Welcome to The Waste is a Wasteland podcast brought to you by Edward Grimm Grinner Hutchinson. Feel free to follow me on all social media and make sure to subscribe so you can hear new episodes as they release. If you like what I do here and want to support the podcast by getting some cool merch, check out my Etsy store. For more information and all the links, check out linktree.com slash welcome to the wastes. Thanks for listening.